Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 9th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peterson. Wow, what a forecast we have ahead of us. One of the things I said last night on uh, one of uh, my posts is I just hate waiting for this stuff to to develop, but it's beginning to develop, so let's take a look at the graphics and see where we're headed. Here's a look at the SkyCam network. There's Gadsden this morning, and of course it is along the Gadsden to Birmingham. There's a shot of Birmingham where the fire occurred, actually, uh, just uh, I think on Friday it was. And then uh, down to Tuscaloosa. It's along this corridor that we're looking for a good deal of winter precipitation. The storm system we've been advertising has begun to develop in South Texas. As a matter of fact, uh, there was a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for uh, parts of South Texas. In the upper atmosphere, that uh, little short wave we've been watching near the Four Corners area is kicking out as forecast. And as it does, of course, it's developing that surface low in the Northwest Gulf, and that surface low is expected to track along the Gulf Coast. The temperatures this morning, very cold. We're down into the 20s for the most part, teens across the Tennessee River Valley. And you can see with that kind of flow, there's single digits at Crossville, uh, Tennessee, for example. So it is very, very cold air that's coming in. On radar, we've finally begun to see the development of the precipitation. And it looks like that precipitation should be arriving uh, after lunchtime today. On the watch warning map, as you would expect, there is a wide variety of watches, warnings, and advisories stretching all the way from the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex across Mississippi, central Alabama, Georgia, and into the Carolinas. So this uh, storm system is going to be wreaking havoc across the area. On our day one outlook, the Storm Prediction Center is not forecasting a specific area for slight risk. It looks like uh, the real warmth is going to stay immediately along the coast, and therefore there's not going to be much in the way of uh, severe weather chances. But thunderstorms are a possibility. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't that be wonderful? Some thunder snow. Because of the Thunderstorms along the Gulf Coast, it looks like there's a little minimum of precipitation across uh, parts of uh, the southern half of Alabama, according to the HPC charts. But I still think that uh, with those amounts of precipitation, we are looking at uh, around anywhere from about one to seven inches across parts of north and central Alabama. Storm track is looking pretty good. There's still a little variety, and that's what those little uh, squares and Diamonds and circles are giving you some idea of how the various forecasts have positioned the low. Uh, the black L's are the current positions, and therefore things are moving along pretty nicely. Now, the the uh, let's take a look at the GFS first. Here's the GFS uh, forecasting a pretty good snow band all the way from northeast Texas across Arkansas, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, northern Georgia. Uh, I think position-wise, uh, it's a little maybe a little far north. Uh, the GF, uh, pardon me, the NAM is uh, a little further south, and I think the NAM's uh, uh, got a little better for a uh, handle on the positioning. Now, the National Weather Service has issued a winter storm warning in effect from 6 p.m. today till 6 p.m. on Monday, and this is from their website uh, for their Potential snow accumulations, uh, generally uh, at or above alabaster, uh, looks like three to six inches. From alabaster down to just north of Montgomery, about one to three inches, and a trace to one inch in the Montgomery area. And, of course, the problem is going to be some icing. Now, we... Uh, the James uh, Span has put together this map, and and this I think is the one that uh, is is the best at the moment. Uh, three to seven inches, generally from about Alabaster up to Huntsville. Uh, two to three across uh, Tennessee. One to uh, one inch or so from about Alabaster southward to Montgomery. But James has also included the possibility of ice. Now, the one thing here is uh, I think there is more of a possibility of ice in the Birmingham area. And the reason I think that, and uh, you'll see a post from Dr. Tim below this one, but uh, take a look at the sounding. Now, this is the model sounding off the GFS at 6 p.m. today. And the thing is, 
all the temperatures are below zero with the exception of a very small nose, but uh, that will be wiped out because of the temperature dew point difference at that uh, altitude. Okay, now we move on to 6Z or midnight, and this is a, completely a snow sounding. Uh, we've got uh, temperatures below freezing all the way through the layer. All right, but watch what happens at 12Z. This is uh, 6 a.m. Monday morning. Notice the warm layer from about uh, oh, 900 millibars up to about uh, 750 millibars. That warm layer is a result of an 850 millibar jet, and that warm layer could create icing issues. Now remember, this sounding is for Birmingham, so this is suggesting, the model soundings are suggesting that the precipitation will be um, probably a small uh, time frame of a mixture, and then switch over to snow, stay snow most of the night, but by first thing Monday morning and through the morning hours, we could be seeing, before the precipitation ends, freezing rain. Now let's get to the 06E GFS model run, and uh, here's our surface map for uh, today at noon, and uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Look out here at 24 hours. Here comes, this is uh, at midnight. Here comes the trough at the upper atmosphere. So the trough moving through the southeastern U.S. And there's the surface low positioned uh, between New Orleans and Mobile. And, of course, we've got pretty significant precipitation going on across the whole area. Now, here's the 850 millibar, and we've zoomed in on this. Notice that 50-knot wind just offshore. Now, the question is, how far north will that warm jet intrude? And uh, the model sounding suggests it's going to come as far north as Birmingham, which means we could have some very serious travel and power outage issues if indeed that freezing rain develops, because that warm layer is enough to potentially bring us a half to, uh, or a quarter to a half inch of ice. And you know what happens when that occurs. All right, by midday, uh, noontime on Monday, uh, the surface low is weakening, as forecast to do, but uh, we've still got precipitation going on. And uh, then by Tuesday, uh, the shortwave trough is gone. The large trough over the central part of the country is uh, taking shape, and that means that we're going to stay cold. Uh, but the precipitation pretty much over, although with clouds, we'll probably see a few snow flurries, so don't get... Uh, too excited about that after the snow we have uh, tonight and Monday. The trough stays positioned over the western half of the country, which of course keeps us cold and also dry. Uh, we stay or we get reinforced on Thursday with another shot of cold air. And then on Friday, we see a slight moderation, but not very much. And notice also out at the Four Corners area, a strong short wave coming through the southern stream. And that short wave uh, is dry at the moment, um, but we'll be watching how that develops. High pressure over the area on Friday, so we stay pretty cold for much of the upcoming week. Here comes that short wave trough across uh, northern Mexico, so it's pretty far south. Uh, but we are looking at the possibility of some precipitation across Texas on Saturday. And then by a week from today, uh, that little short wave is weakening as it moves into the Gulf. But notice the overall pattern is a trough over the eastern half of the country. So we basically stay pretty cold. And again, with the possibility of some precipitation, uh, we could have somewhere in the southeastern U.S. another repeat of what we're happening now, but not to the extent that I think it's happening now. So at least, at least something out there. But as James says, let's get through the first one first. All right. Looking out into Voodoo very quickly, the 21st, still cold and a number of troughs moving through the area. Got one over Ohio and one over uh, the, practically the Big Bend area of Texas. And then finally, at the very end of the period, this is the 24th. 372 hours out and another trough. So it looks like there's no lack of active weather across the southeastern U.S. and cold weather, at least through the latter part of January. I hope everybody is prepared. This certainly has been a storm that is uh, developing pretty much as we have been saying throughout uh, this whole past week. Uh, so I don't think anybody can look at what's going on now and say anything about hyping, although somebody will. Uh, but it certainly looks like uh, this uh, scenario is playing out very nicely. Please stay tuned to the blog 
as we will we'll maintain a, a constant flow of information as the whole system unfolds. In the meantime, I hope that you enjoy this winter weather. Stay warm and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.